Welcome back as we begin part 2 Electrical Condition Checks Armature Testing In order to conduct tests to an armature, a device called an armature growler will be necessary. The name is derived from the noise it creates. When the armature is placed into the cradle of this device and power is switched on, a strong magnetic field is generated. Whilst the armature coils are enveloped in this field, certain conditions relating to the insulation of the windings can be tested. A continuity test lamp is incorporated in the device. A warning here, high voltage is used in the test lamp circuit, so do not hold the tester probes by their metal tips. Always hold the probes by their insulated protections. Three tests are conducted to an armature, namely open circuit testing, a grounded winding test, and short circuit winding test. The open circuit test procedure. Position the armature into the growler. Switch on to the high position. Using the appropriate probes, not the test lamp probes, touch one probe to any commutator bar Using the other probe, touch the adjacent bars in series. Observe the ammeter. The highest ammeter reading will occur when the probes are in contact with bars which are about 90 degrees apart. Ideally, each commutator bar should be probed and the highest ammeter reading observed. Ammeter readings on a perfect armature will yield the same reading for each bar. Erratic ammeter readings indicate open circuits. Open circuits result in reduced power output of the starter. A common cause of this condition is unsoldered connections at the riser bars. Next, we perform a ground test. The selector switch is now set to the low position and the insulated probes used. A check by touching the probe tips together verifies that the test lamp is operating. The purpose of our test is to make sure that the commutator section and the armature windings are fully insulated from the armature's core and shaft. Simply touch one of the probes to either the shaft or the armature's core. Touch the other test probe to the commutator, running it around the circumference. The test lamp should not illuminate. If, as on this unit, the test lamp illuminates, then the armature windings have gone to ground. The armature will have to be repaired by a competent armature repairer. We next perform a short circuit test. A short circuit, at least in respect of an armature, is a condition whereby the current induced into one winding manages to leak into an adjacent coil, usually because of faulty insulation. This condition is also known as electrical bridging and can occur between the commutator bars as a result of copper or carbon particles building between the bars. To test for shorts, simply operate the growler on high and hold a hacksaw blade just above the core. Rotate the armature and a short, if present, will cause the blade to vibrate and to pull against the core. Skimming and polishing the commutator will sometimes rectify a shorted situation. Be sure to switch off the growler when not in use. We move on to test the field coils using the test lamp facility of the growler. To avoid overheating the tester, an armature must be kept on the unit. The first check is made to ensure that continuity exists between both field brushes and the motor terminal as demonstrated. The lamp lighting up will verify this. The second check is made to ensure that the field connections are insulated from the field case. Connecting one probe to the case, we probe the brushes. 
the lamp will not light up if the insulation is in good order. In the event of grounded fields, it may be necessary to install new or reconditioned coils to the field case. As this task involves specialist equipment, it is normally undertaken by specialists. We shall now check the electrical condition of the brush plate, which again will be done using the growler's test lamp. The purpose of the test is to establish that the field brush holders are insulated from the brush plate. With one insulated probe held onto the metal frame section, touch the field brush holders. The lamp must not illuminate. If the lamp does come on, then a breakdown of insulation exists. Check for a build-up of dirt around the insulation or loosened rivets, which could result in this problem. The two earthed brushes are checked to see that each is continuous to earth. After the break, we shall attend to the renewal of certain wearing parts.